Electric trucks are making waves in the transportation industry, especially in California. And there's a new contender in the green race, hydrogen powered trucks. Unlike battery electric trucks, which store energy in batteries, hydrogen trucks convert hydrogen into electricity to power the vehicle. This technology promises longer ranges and faster refueling times, addressing some of the limitations of battery electric trucks. However, the hydrogen truck industry is still in its infancy. Currently, there are only a handful of these trucks on the road, and they're primarily operated by companies that are taking a chance on this new technology. My name is Jim Gillis. I'm the president of the Pacific region of IMC. IMC is the nation's largest intermodal drayage firm headquartered in Collierville, Tennessee. My big worry has always been the, the driver fleet. You know, there's an apprehensiveness to change, right? They don't, they like things the same. And so when you're moving them from a typical day cab tractor to one of these cab over designs, that's a big hurdle for them. But again, you know, once they make that, that jump, they're very happy with the results and, and they love the experience. The feedback from the drivers, the fit and finish, it's referred to in our fleet as the Bentley of, of trucks. It's weird, you know, when you, when you first put a driver in front of it, uh, that whole cab over design, kind of like a late seventies, early eighties model looking truck, they're very apprehensive, but once they climb into it and they, they go on one trip, they don't want to get back out. I do like it. The innovative technology is amazing to me. I like the fact that it is zero emission with the ability to actually have that refuelability within 20 minutes. Also having the range of 500 miles to where we can like pretty much adapt to all of our customers' needs. And honestly, the technology in, in inside is amazing. Having the touchscreen infotainment system, the cab over design is probably the most comfortable ride I've ever been in, even within just a regular car. One of the differences is that the battery electric vehicle has a battery percentage. Once that's depleted, the truck has to be charged. The fuel cell electric vehicles, they actually have the hydrogen fuel cell that actually perpetuates the battery power by that electrochemical reaction. By having so much more of the hydrogen within the vehicle, you're able to actually propel the lifelong battery so you can go longer with it. The refuel time on the hydrogen electric vehicle is gonna be 20 minutes when everything is running smoothly. The only time it gets pretty much a longer period of time is if they have any downtime at the fueling facility. What we found with the battery electric is, even if you put on a high-speed charger, 350 kilowatt charger, you still have an hour to two hour charge cycle compared to a 20 minute refuel with one of the hydrogens. And, you know, to me, when I'm comparing to diesel, right, which is the gold standard of how our industry operates, that quick refuel cycle of a hydrogen fuel cell was the way to go. If hydrogen trucks can overcome the challenges of infrastructure and production costs, as well as the cost of hydrogen fuel, they could revolutionize the trucking industry. With the potential for significantly reduced greenhouse gas emissions and increased efficiency, these vehicles could play a very crucial role in combating climate change and boosting the economy. We decided a couple of years ago to do a toe in the water approach with the zero emissions technology. And so we started, we purchased six battery electric trucks mixed results right we like the end result of zero emissions we like the the idea of helping to clean up the industry but the reliability was a little suspect and also had a hard time with the charging infrastructure particularly in southern cal and so i started doing some research on alternative technologies and we happened across hydrogen fuel cell and really kind of dug into it spent some time with nicola went to the factory in coolidge arizona and walked away thinking, you know, we need to go a little deeper. And so we did a big purchase order of 50 and hopefully soon we'll add another 50 in another market up in Oakland. With our battery trucks, we've got the extended battery packs, which makes it equivalent weight of the hydrogen fuel cell. I think the OEM lists the, the range of 200 to 220 miles. Our practical experience in Southern California is really 150 to 155. If you can get 100% fuel on board and get the, the full kg capacity, then you get 500 miles. The state of California obviously has, is really pushing for, for cleaner trucks all the time. There's some pretty generous incentives for uh, both battery and uh, hydrogen trucks. 
um, for hydrogen trucks, is it uh, it's a few hundred thousand dollars, right? For there, there it is, right? Um, unfortunately, though, there there are some restrictions from large fleets that are now in effect, and so a company like ours, we're going to be heavily restricted starting next year from really participating in those incentive programs. But for smaller fleet operators, you know, uh, a guy that's got thirty trucks or less. You're right. There's some heavy financial incentives to, for them to be able to make that jump. But I also would would say that you know while it's a great financial incentive, you know there are some barriers, right? And so you know the weight of the truck does kind of limit the amount of cargo that you can handle. In terms of use, we haven't really had any problems. You know, it's new technology. We know there's going to be some small issues from here to there, but I think the responsiveness from the Nicola team and Tom's Truck Centers has been outstanding. You know, when we have an issue, they come and fix it, and so I, I like it. You know, I, I think zero emissions does have some barriers, uh, particularly the vehicle weights. But I think for the majority of the cargo that we're running in Southern California, this technology does work. Mm -hmm.